In this long overdue episode, we take another look back into Oklahoma history with the fascinating tale of Greer County, Texas. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. Here in the home office in Elk City, Oklahoma, I'm approximately 28 miles east of the Texas state line. If history had changed in one court decision, I would be a mere 16 miles away from Texas. To explain this, we have to look back to when Spain and France still held these lands. The Kingdom of France held the lands from present-day Louisiana all the way up the Mississippi River to the southern tips of Alberta, Canada, and as far west as the eastern parts of Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and the Texas Panhandle. Spain controlled everything west of there to the Pacific Ocean. In 1803, France sold this land to the United States known as the Louisiana Purchase. In 1819, the United States and Spain signed the adams onis Treaty that ceded Florida to the United States and defined the boundary between the U.S. and Spain. For the purposes of our tale, this boundary ran along the Red River west to the 100th meridian and then north to the Arkansas River. When this treaty was signed, they used a map that showed the Red River as one continuous river to the 100th meridian. Little did they know the Red River actually forks many miles east of the 100th meridian. <laughs> in 1852, Captains Randolph B. Marcy and George B. McKellen were sent to explore the Red and Canadian rivers. Captain McClellan used astronomical observations to establish where the 100th meridian was. However, he made a mistake and placed the meridian one degree east of its actual location. This made the meridian intersect the North Fork of the Red River. Thus led Captain Marcy to believe the North Fork was the main channel of the Red River. Thus began years of confusion regarding the Red River and the Texas border. Texas claimed the land south of the North Fork, and the United States claimed the land north of the South Fork. <laughs> On February 9, 1860, Texas created Greer County, named in honor of John A. Greer, a former lieutenant governor of Texas. And they formed it in the area between the north and south forks of the Red River. They started allocating the land, setting up post offices, and eventually Mangum was named the county seat. Many years went by without a resolution to the conflict between the United States and Texas about this area. On May 2, 1890, the U.S. Congress passed the Organic Act that created the Territory of Oklahoma. One section of this act required the Attorney General of the United States to file a suit in the U.S. Supreme Court to officially settle the disputed boundary. On March 16, 1896, the court ruled that the southern branch of the Red River was the true Red River of the 1819 Treaty. Thus, Greer County became part of Oklahoma Territory. In 1906, during the Oklahoma Constitutional Convention, Greer County was divided up into Beckham, Jackson, and Greer Counties. After statehood in 1909, Harmon County was created out of the uh, southwestern part of Greer County. And thus ends the tale of Greer County, Texas. You can see historical markers to Old Greer County in front of the Greer County Courthouse in Mangum and the Har Harmon County Courthouse in Hollis. Sorry, Harmon County Courthouse in Hollis. <laughs> if you would like to learn more about Old Greer County, Texas, it's really fascinating. I provided links to all my reference material in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net.
This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is to share your adventures in Old Greer County. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for Web Ring membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the Web Ring and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Please visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Hello everyone, Kevin here. I know it's been a few weeks since I had an episode out, isn't it? <laughs> what was it, February? Was that when the last episode was? Oh, I didn't realize I was going to get so busy so quickly. So <laughs> sorry about that. I had some projects that just ate up all my time. I didn't even have weekend time to do anything. So, <laughs> oh well, I'm done. So now I can get back to these podcasts. So hopefully you've liked this uh trip down memory lane on Old Greer County. Um, I am trying to do more Oklahoma history episodes, so hopefully I can give those to you in a fairly entertaining manner. <laughs> and uh, again, I'm going to try to get to a regular schedule. I had such high hopes for the beginning of the year. <laughs> well, anyways, let me give you a few updates since I was last here. Um, on the last two episodes, uh, one was about the... Uh, a league of the American League of Associating Football or whatever it was called, because it doesn't matter anymore. It already folded. Damn. <laughs> oh, the games were great. I was watching every week. Uh, the uh, San Antonio Commanders were my team. I was confident they were going to go to the championship, and they didn't even get past week eight. Oh, man. That sucks. <laughs> oh, and then MeWe. I had spent so much time reviewing that social network. And if you recall the second half of that episode, I had some doubts about the, the uh, social network. And all those doubts proved to be true. I am no longer on MeWe. I've given up. I've even deleted the app off my phone. I still have my account over there. So maybe someday in the future, I'll log back in just to check on things. But I have zero hopes for MeWe and I can't recommend it anymore. If you're on MeWe and you like it, good for you. But for me and for the politics of the place and for the attitude of some of the posters, it was not the place for me. So I'm done with MeWe. Well, that was two episodes, two swings, two misses. Isn't that great? Oh, wow. It's baseball season. I wonder why that popped into my head. <laughs> oh, anyways, um, on some better notes, <laughs> I... Uh, relaunched a couple of the subreddits and I'm going to start posting in Reddit a little more often. I have the Oklahoma history subreddit going again. I already got several people subscribed to it and I've basically relaunched the blog Oklahoma subreddit. I'm going to dedicate it, dedicate it completely to the blog Oklahoma podcast. So hopefully you'll join me over there. I'll have links to it in the show notes. Please check that out. And uh, that about covers it. So hopefully we're going to get back into the swing of things and uh, no more delays. Or at least I hope so. Did you know we have our own Cafe Press store? There you could purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify. There are many, many hours of music for you to enjoy. Please just click on the playlist, hit random, and just let go. <laughs> I'll have links to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce, as of May 5th, 2019, Blog Oklahoma has 730 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Hooray! Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma.
Until next time.